So. All right. So I'm coming to you. It still doesn't say co-host. Well, let me, I, I just, I just did it. I don't know if I have to hit regenerate or anything. I don't want to regenerate nothing. That's yeah. Not let it. me go back and see. Nope. Um, nope. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah, I just I just turned it on. I just seen the button here that says allow host to add a co-host. All right, let me try again. Nope. So you're gonna have to do it then. Make yourself a co-host because it I it's not giving me that option. Let me let me let me uh let me go back to the Okay, Matt, it just signed me out. Oh, really? Yeah, and so it's about to log me out. The The sign-in is coming back. And back in, remove, back. remove my picture from Bruce. Yeah, it's going to keep doing this. Oh, he went all the way out. Oh, the co-host is back, though. Cool, cool, cool. Mike, are you Galaxy S8? Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. I see it. Yeah, that's me. All right. I figured it out because you just unmuted. Matt, you got to take my picture off because I'm you. Can you see me? Yes, but I'm you on the <laughs> on the side under participants. So you got to take my picture off. Oh, I see. I see. Not a problem. I mean, it's not it ain't easy being me, Matt, but you don't want to be me. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you know, you did not hear me argue. <laughs> Why go. my computer keeps doing this? It's fading. Ah, whatever. So, Mike Dudley and Jason can be unmuted. <laughs> Mike, can you press your um, unmute button? I believe it is. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking Dudley. to Dudley, not you. Mr. Dudley. Oh. And, um, oh, Jason's off his mute. Okay. You meant the good looking, Mike. <laughs> you should say something about that. <laughs> you said I should do what? 
No, I says Mike should say something about that. <laughs> he can't because he's muted. He's muted. He's got to unmute himself. Oh. Though, because... <laughs> I know he's saying something, but you probably can't, you can't hear what he's saying. Everybody is is muted until. Did he make? Okay, there you go, Dudley. And Donahue is on, he's unmuted. All right, Mr. Dudley, Mr. Vaughn, Mr. Blake, Mr. Ananovich, Mr. Burke. Oh, Jeff. All right. I think we're on the roll now. We have a secretary for tonight. Waiting for her. Oh, okay. I didn't, you know, okay. I hope she's not trying to get logged on and she can't get logged on for some reason. Is someone able to call her? I don't have her. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of her. Okay. Because I know yesterday she said she couldn't get in, right? She tried a couple times. Yes. I don't have her. I'm going to see if I. I don't have her. I'm going to see if I. Chances are she's going to call in on her phone. I don't know if she's having a problem with her computer or what. Okay. Looking for the phone call. Is this Matt, can you, yeah, um, can you un well, yeah, can you un unmute um, Jeff Jerome? Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm unmuted now. Well, hello there. Hey, Jeff. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Jeffrey. Barb's not that. Um, Two seven six number is she? Might be. Hmm. I think it's star six, Barb. <coughs> Two seven six is me. It's Vic. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you're unmuted. Barb, you there? Doesn't look like it. She said she was going 
gonna try calling in. Was that her that just came on that? Arb, you there? Two seven six four one nine five. That's the mayor. Hello, this is Barbara Mullen. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. I apologize. Uh, I had a hard time getting on, but I'm here. Perfect timing. Okay, thank you. As, as soon as you're ready, Barb, you can take a roll call for the committee members, please. All right. I actually, yeah, I've got it all set. Here we go. Davis? Shayla Davis here. Blake? Jason Blake here. Burke? Matt Burke here. Vaughn? Vaughn here. Okay, I just want to go over a few things uh, before we get started. When it's time for citizens' comments, if anyone wants to speak, we're asking that you raise your hand or type something in the chat. And at that time, uh, Councilman Burke will unmute you and allow you to speak then. Outside of that, we're ready to roll. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the meeting started. The purpose in having the meeting is so that we could talk about, you know, technology, where are we going from here? So first I wanna let everyone know that the laptops for council came in today. So I'm assuming maybe next week we will probably start distributing those because we need to take care of some internal paperwork and things like that. But I did speak to our IT guys, they came in today. So that's a good thing, we will have that soon. Um, after talking to the IT guys, <laughs> They advise me that, you know, it's in, in terms of the city, our servers are very outdated and that's where the files are kept for all the systems and computers. And that's something they're outdated 14 years actually. And that's something that they're working on. So I don't wanna be too robust in terms of communication and technology cause that's gonna take them some time. And I believe that is more important and vital than some of the things that we need, you know, or we would like to see right now. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on that. Um, and, you know, after talking to IT, because everyone knows that Bruce is out right now on a medical leave, but he should be coming back in a few weeks. The issue is there's a whole lot of work that needs to be done in terms of technology. Some things are very simple, some things are not, but there's not a whole lot of money. And so that's just what it boils down to. So we may have to have some conversations as, you know, council on how we're going to move forward in terms of money. After listening to the community, I, th I thought that perhaps if we wanted to, because I believe, Mr. Nanavis, you brought up um, posting the, um, the legislation on the website prior to the meeting. That's correct. And so I think we can talk about that a little bit and get that figured out how we can do that. They said it's very simple to do. It's obtainable. And I think that'll be a first step to us moving forward so that the community, you know, has access to the information before we have the meetings. If you got anyone has anything to say, you can kind of, you know, jump in about that or what are your ideas and opinions? Ms. Davis? Yes. When you're saying posting, are we talking just the cover page or are you going to, you know, sometimes those pages are 30, 40 pages long when we're doing budgets and things like that. I think it would be just sufficient if we posted the cover page with what, you know, what we're each thing is about. You understand what I'm saying? Am I saying yeah, this? Yeah. I understand what you're saying, but I know last night, um, Mr. Nanovich took some time to read 136 because folks on the call had not seen it. Right. And right. so in those instances, you know, what do we, what do we do? I don't know if it requires a lot, if it's 200 pages or just three, or if it's the same amount of time, I can ask that, Okay. you know, and, and we can kind of get that figured out maybe, but 
it seems like that's something we should probably move forward with. I kind of want to defer to law unless you guys have something to say, even the council uh, people that are not on the committee. Well, if I may, um, yes. I was doing some research today on Zoom. I guess there is a way to put files up so people can see it. And I think that's like a presentation mode, but then you lose some other features. So I'm, I'm trying to do more. Uh, really quick. What's that? I'll show you while you um, yeah. share on the screen. Yes, exactly. You can put something like that up and, and we can actually see it. So, um, you know, that's something that I think would be helpful. But then again, if you have 200 pages, you know, that's a lot to go through. Yeah, that's very true. So I'm going to take us out of this. I think I am. <laughs> I think it would be beneficial if we can get it, get all the information posted onto the website, regardless of the amount of pages. Okay. In regards to that, if I may, I, I did talk with uh, Justin today and, you know, I mean, we, we really only have one guy that's doing, um, IT. He shares it with another guy, and they're they're filling in for Bruce right now. And you take something as simple as putting the meetings on our website. Um, you know, if you look on our website currently, tonight's meeting and last night's meeting weren't on the website. So I told them that what I was going to do is build a page, and then um, we can I I can build a, a web page put the meetings on that web page and they can just link to it. And this way, whenever we have to make changes or put a meeting up, we can, we can just be responsible for changing our own page and they can uh, um, just, it's just a link to that page when you click on it from the city's website. So I think it gives us the control of actually changing the content on that page and putting the, the meetings up. I think it's going to be easier for Justin, and he agreed. So um, I'll be working on that this weekend, I'm sure. So, Councilman Burke, I talked to Justin and Will, too. So we've got some cross-communication going on here because I talked to Will after I talked to Justin. And he implied that this was so easy, so simple, <laughs> and it absolutely could be done, and they could they could do it. But what I'm thinking about is we get the information for, for our meeting 72 hours in advance, right? And so that's right. typically the Friday before. That really is not enough time for anyone to, you know, really be able to put it up. So I, I'm thinking, do we defer to legal to kind of get the process of how the legislation packet comes together and then comes to us? I think I was just referring to actually posting the announcement of the meeting, you know, um, on the website. So, and it'd be great if we could build a page there where you can actually have the, the legislation that's going to be discussed at the, at that meeting right on that page. So like, you know, it says council meeting, uh, December 14th, this is the zoom announcement. And then you can click this link to get to all the, uh, all the actual legislation that's on the agenda. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that would be helpful. I, I don't know that, you know, I mean, it's been a long time since I put together a website. So I could look into that and see if, if I could add that content so that when we do have those meetings, we can just constantly change all that out so people can access what's on. Cause, cause if you think about how we used to do the, the, council meetings before, you know, the, everything was posted. So you can see all the legislation that we're going to address at the council meeting. It wasn't, it was public knowledge, you know, and I think somewhere along the line, even myself last night, I forgot that, that that is basically public knowledge, even though we hadn't voted on it yet, that, you know, uh, to adopt the ordinances or the resolutions, it's still public knowledge. So, you can put that out there 
Um, it's just with the Zoom technology, how do you put it out to everybody? So I think it's easier for anybody who wants to attend the meeting to be able to go to like our website, maybe go to that page that, that shows all of the meetings, the list, the upcoming meetings for the week, what have you. And then they can click on a link there that'll take them to all those documents, those PDF documents that they can see exactly what's on the agenda. And we could do the same thing for committee meetings. That's what I'm thinking. You know, if, like chap, chapter 136, we could have had, if we could have had that on our page, anybody could just click on a web page and see it. You know, it would have been, I think it would have answered a lot of questions that were asked yesterday a lot easier. Somebody else had their hand up. I think Mr. Nanatic had his hand up, so I don't know if he's still. No, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, Matt. Thank you. Uh, it, if, if council doesn't mind, I can somewhat jump in. and Because I think there's two or so issues regarding law. Um, from our perspective, I don't think that posting this on the website is a bad idea. It's probably a positive um, and the only reason I say that is right now we obviously have notification requirements and we have posting requirements um, due to the COVID situation. I mean, one of the posting obligations is actually City Hall, but I know City Hall is closed right now. So on a very practical matter, posting something on the website. Now, when I say practical, I mean in a legal sense. I don't mean from a physical sense because I don't know what it takes. I mean, it sounds like uh, Matt and Shayla, you've talked to Justin more than I have, but as far as posting it, it's all public record. It's information that's available, readily available to the public. Um, so I don't see on a legal side that there being any issue with us doing that whatsoever. Uh, the second issue, timing wise, so traditionally we get packets out on a Thursday about Friday in an absolute worst case scenario. What we'd have to do is figure out what the upload time is, like what it, what it actually physically takes to put on the website. I mean, I certainly think that there's no problem whatsoever getting it up on a Friday and getting it up to everyone by Friday. If the legislation was to our office earlier than that, I mean, we could commit to somewhat earlier than that, but I think a lot of the times we're kind of waiting on legislation. So it would almost be, we would need the departments and everyone involved to somewhat have the legislation to our department in time to get it posted or at least commit to getting it posted. But I don't, I don't see any issue with us getting it up. And I don't see any issue legality wise with us putting it on a website. I think that's probably meeting an obligation that we're probably meeting right now, but we could be doing much better. I mean, on a very simple, I think I look at it as a simple solution more than anything. So. Mr. Vaughn, would you like to say anything? Tom, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. Maybe if you write it on a pad of paper and hold it up to the screen. We... <laughs> no. You may have to go out and come back in. I don't know why you always have to do that. Wow. Or in the chisel. I'm going to move to Councilman uh, Burke in yeah. response to that. And as soon as you get going again, Councilman Vaughn. Um, the, the only thing I could say is uh, if I could, when, when I start building this page, I just want to see if, if I can get, if I can get the, I know I can get the meeting content on the page. But if I can figure out if the page will let me or the, the platform will let me attach PDF files to that page, then whenever we get our legislation on Thursday, I could post that to that, that, you know, those PDF files to that. However, you know, we'd have to train somebody on how to do that because we're not, I'm not, we're not going to be here forever. You know what I mean? <laughs> there'll come a point in time where all of us will be out of council and then whoever's taken over will have to know how to do all that stuff. Uh, but I can you know. hear you now, Tom. Thank You're you. Um, my question, uh, Ms. Davis, is who is going to be responsible for doing this? Would it be the law department? Would it be us individually, the secretary, you know, 
I think that's something we'd have to talk about and see if they have the capabilities of doing that. I, I agree. And I think in the practical sense, we would, you know, automatically default to IT, but understanding that Bruce is so strapped. Sure. You know, with him being out, they're trying to streamline things because it's my understanding he could be working on something, then he gets a call to go and fix something else, and he stops doing that. And, you know, he's just one guy. He's, he's just one guy. I don't know how they keep it up. I don't yeah. know how they keep up. You know, I knew that he was strapped, but after talking to Justin again, I just, it's, it's a lot. It's it's really a lot. And with our servers being out outdated, it causes a whole nother issue. And I, they also have the updated server, but they're not able to get it going because of, you know, the one man show having to do all these other things. And so the meeting to date and time to get that taken care of has been halted. So, yeah, you're right. That's something that we have to talk about. I mean, I would think in a traditional sense, the clerk, um, because in actuality, the clerk does the announcement, right? The posting. Yeah, Shayla, that is These correct. Things, uh, so if you look the, at the, meeting. Uh, the postings or, or the requirements in the charter and in, in the uh, Garfield's Municipal Code, um, posting should be done. That is really a council function and it should be done because it is council's meeting. It should be done by the council clerk, I would tell you. Now, whether, I don't know how hard it is to, to you know, figure out how to post something on the um, um, website, but I think once you learn it, it, it should be relatively simple. I, I'm, you know, I'm not a computer guy myself, but I don't think that's, it's, it, it should be something that would be that difficult. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't wanna, you know, According to what Will told me, he said it's a simple, easy fix, and it's something that you know could happen, as early, you know, as early as before our next meeting, December fourteenth. But um, you know, it's just a matter of narrowing that down and what that looks like. Councilman Blake, did you want to say something? Um, I, well, I, my comment might be a little bit more down the line, but in, in regards to to posting items. Um, to the city website um, in information. Um, we've had a lot more committee meetings than I ever remember. And the, the question becomes, those notes aren't posted anywhere that I'm aware of. So should we start considering posting those in the council meeting notes section of the, the website as well? But again, that maybe a conversation for a little bit later in this meeting, but that was one of the concerns that I had. I mean, I think it's relative because it, you know, speaks to what we're talking about anyway, like trying to get stuff um, uploaded. Uh, I'm going to go to the other council people who are not in the committee. Uh, Mr. Dudley. No, I don't really have too much, uh, too much to say tonight. Okay. Mr. Donahue. <clears throat> the uh, yeah, the ordinances and that we have for council can't they be put on uh, a PDF, you know, copied and put straight onto the computer and then do it that way? Is that an idea? Yeah, it would have to be turned into a PDF and how what whatever the process is to upload it. Yeah. Well, it's a lot. Of, well, I even have a printer that I can put my put it right onto my computer. Um, I'm sure somewhere in that big building, they have a computer that will. I mean, a printer that'll put stuff right on the computer. And I know there's one in the law office because they've done it for me. Yeah, we wouldn't even need a printer for you know a PDF file. It's just take if it's a Word doc, you convert it through Adobe to a PDF. Right. right. I mean, like for my doctor's appointment, 
you know, in order to upload paperwork to my doctor, it has to be PDF. It actually won't take it. It kind of tells you the type of form it has to be, the formatting, and right. it's usually always PDF. Right. It was, it was, it's just an idea. I'm, I'm sure somebody there can figure that one out. All right. Thank you. That's all I had. Mr. Nananovich? Um, the notes that uh, the council clerk is responsible for, um, she would generally post those either in an email or a format that would be able to put it on the city's website. But I think um, I go along with Tim. This is once you learn it, uh, it'll become second nature. And I think if you have a committee meeting, that committee person would be the one that would be would, would be responsible for posting on the uh, city's website under their heading of uh, like mine would be legislation, share would be communications, and so forth. That this was put on and made available to the public. I don't think we got a dump. Uh, we have twenty meetings a week, and besides getting the um, uh, minutes and the notes and everything else out, uh, you're expecting the clerk to go and you know throw this on also. Uh, I think it is an added amount of responsibility that the committee chair will assume some responsibility for getting on the uh, web page. That's what I have to say. But thank you. Uh, Mr. Burke, do you have a comment? Um, the only thing I, I want to say is it's it, it's easy to, you know, to think that, yeah, you can put, um, like, each committee person can put their information onto the site. The problem is um, when whoever is administering the site. For, so give you an example. Justin built a page. And when you go to, the, to our current website, it says click here for upcoming meetings. And you click there and it opens up another page. It shows all the dates of the meetings and, and the Zoom links and everything. Now, if I ask him, hey, we have a meeting coming up on December 14th, a council meeting. Here's the information. It's easy for him to just copy and paste that onto that page. But if he gets inundated with more important things like communications for the fire department or the, the police department, those type of things take a priority. And so then all of a sudden that that doesn't get uh, put on the, um, the page because he, he didn't have time. Now, I mean, if he has, if, if you got two or three people that can, you can do this with great, you know, um, that's why I offered to, to him today. I mean, for the interim, I'll build a page. You could just point to it and I'll, I'll put the meeting informations on there, you know, and the announcements and stuff, but Eventually, it has to be something the city, you know, whoever does the website for the city or the IT guy, whoever's in charge of that is going to have to be able to do that. Um, I, two reasons why I offered to do it, because number one, you need, um, you know, you need money in order to do a lot of this stuff and hire people to do this stuff. And if you don't have the resources, I mean, we could all sit here and have come up with great ideas and dream about what we can really like to see on our web page. But if you don't have the money to pay somebody to actually build it and do it, it's um, it could take forever, you know? So I'm trying to do what we can within um, the resources we have. You know, I've built very simplistic websites before, so I'm not, I'm not a, a website guy at, by any means, but something as simple as just having a page to announce a meeting. I think I can handle that. And this way it takes it, it does, Justin and Bruce or whoever, or will the three of them cannot take, you know, it doesn't take their time from handling something that's really important when I can handle that for right now. But eventually I think it needs to get to a point where, and I'm not sure how we would do it. You know, I mean, you got uh, each person is a co each committee chairperson would have to send somebody the announcement so that person can go ahead and, and uh, um, put that information on the website or have Will or, or Justin or whoever put it on the website. But for right now, until they get 
some of the stuff that they're get caught up on some of the stuff they, they need to get caught up on. Um, I've offered to do that. Okay. Uh, Councilman Vaughn. Can you hear me? Very, very slight. Okay. Can you hear me? Um, I, I think the reality is we're, we're stressed for funds folks. And until we get these servers up to par and we get Bruce back, I, I I think we're going to have to go proceed very cautiously. I agree all this has to be done, but I think right now we have to proceed very cautiously. That's what I have to say. Okay, Shayla? Yeah. Councilman Blake? I agree with Councilman Vaughn. I mean, it, it's we're in a situation where we need to just proceed cautiously. And uh, I mean, we need to do what we need to do. You know, if, if Councilman Burke is willing to, to do the website that he's talking about, I, I think that's one way to proceed. Um, but it, it's just going to be a page. <laughs> it's not going to yeah, be a website, it, but it's a, you know. Uh, Councilman Dudley. No, I don't, I don't really have too much to say tonight. Okay. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a great way to handle it. Uh, Mayor, do you have anything to say tonight? I'm sorry. I should have had you speak first. Can you hear me? Yes. You got me? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I just want everybody and, and I know I'm always the money cautious one and, and I'm really actually very pleased to hear other people talking about, you know, the cost of some of this stuff. Um, in reality, even if Bruce comes back, there's no way that he's going to be able to do this on a regular basis because as soon as he gets a call from the police department or fire department, as it was stated earlier, he's going to have to leave that page. And then of course, we're going to get complaints from people saying, you know, the legislation wasn't put up. So I think that's going to be very difficult. Um, it, it's an interesting concept and I think it should happen, but the reality of it is, is in the last couple of weeks, think about the finance committee meetings, think about our meeting yesterday. Uh, there's money coming from the city for every one of these meetings. Everybody's requesting money. And I, you know, I know I said it last time, I hate to beat a dead horse, but with this COVID virus and not knowing how long it's going to last and how much our tax dollars are down, and how much, uh, if, if they should, if the auditors make a ruling that uh, people get paid, uh, the taxes are paid where they live because they're working from home, we are going to be in some dire straits next year. And, and so I, I really think that we got to try to do this uh, in the most cautious way as possible, as was stated earlier. Uh, we're looking at some rough times, very possible, and, and all these ideas sound great, but we have to pay for them. So um, I, I know I didn't help the, the problem at all, but, but that's the reality, folks. And I'm glad that, that most of you are realizing that there is a money, uh, you know, money crunch in the city. That's all I have, Shayla. Thank you. Mr. Dudley? Uh, but I did want to mention one thing. Even uh, understanding of the money crunch, because we know we, we can understand that part, but we have to come up with a better idea of how we're communicating this information out to people. I, I do believe that we're kind of behind in time when it comes time to communication with the, communicating with the general public from the consensus I receive when I'm talking to people on a daily basis because we are getting some young individuals in the city and even some of the older people are becoming a little more, uh, so I said computer savvy. So we have to, you know, figure out a way to make both of them work, to be able to get something done with less dollars, to be able to bridge it somewhere in the middle that we can kind of make it work because we have to communicate. Communication is key. And that's all I wanted to say, uh, uh, Madam Chairwoman. Uh, Councilman Burke. Yes. I want, I want to open it up to citizens. Does anyone have their hand up? Um, well, Mike, Mr. Nanatovich has his hand up and also Weldon Hastings has his hand up. Okay, so, Councilman Nanatovich. 
I think he took his hand down now. Okay. Okay. We can shoot. Um, Mr. Hastings. We're having a hard time hearing you, um, Weldon. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Well, no, I, I, I didn't know you were done. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Weldon. Thank you, Weldon. Um, Mr. Fruits has his hand up. Okay. Mr. Fruits? I, I've asked him to unmute. I don't know if it went through yet or not, but. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fruits? Oh, here we go. Mr. Fruits, are you there? Hello, Mr. Fruits? Okay, well, maybe we should. Um, Madam, Madam Chairman. Mr. Nanatovich has his hand up again. Yes. It was cut off before my, I had to come back in. Um, Talking about the feasibility of um, hiring somebody at, like I agree with the mayor at this time, it's going to be pretty rough to do. But I would like to know uh, from Mr. Uh, Hobson, um, once if he sets this up um, and this page is set up to where it becomes. We lost you, Mr. Hobson. The chair of the individual. I'm still on unmuted, Matt. Yeah, well, we we lost you a little bit. Can you hear me? You can now, yeah. <laughs> um yeah, okay. Um if the feasibility would be set up to where um we have permission to enter the site so that nothing in, uh, derogatory is um put up by somebody that are allowed to Oh, we have to have a list of people that can use the site. The feasibility um, would be once the meeting is, you go to the site and the chair becomes responsible for taking the documents and uh, photographing them or putting the minutes up once they're transcribed and sent back to us. But um, I think the, uh, the person that's running the uh, special meeting or the uh, committee meeting should be the one that would be uh, the one that put it on if that's possible. Again, I have to defer to Mr. Hobson to find out how simple this would be or uh, is, it, is it able to be done to where he doesn't get 50 different meetings in a two month period. And like the mayor had alluded to, he's gotta go and he may be gone for a couple of days uh, fixing a problem for the police department or fire department. So um, I would like to defer that to Mr. Hobson when he's available. That's all I Shayla, have this is Sheila, this is the mayor. Can can I ask a question? Yes, please. Or, or make a comment. I, I'm interested in what Weldon was talking about. And uh, you know, I am I am pretty ignorant on most of this stuff, but I would appreciate it, Weldon, if you could, if you would give me a call. Not tomorrow, I'm not in, but if you would give me a call Monday or Tuesday of next week, I, I'd like to ask you more questions about putting that page together, uh, if you don't mind. 
Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I see Mr. Fruits has his hand up again. Um, maybe we'll have better luck this time. Yeah, sorry, I was having some problems. Yeah, you're muted again. <laughs> okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. All right, sorry about that. Um, yes, so um, my question is, is I, I have a couple questions. Is there a communications director for the city? And the, the um, other thing I'd like to encourage us to talk about and think about, and, and this could potentially be part of the solution, um, is uh, our, our city doesn't, doesn't have any kind of um, presence on social media at all. And that is such a, such a widely used thing and a good way to communicate with our residents. Is there, is, is there any talk about, um, about increasing our presence online? And I know the servers are an issue, but I believe that the, the, the actual website itself would be separate from the servers. And is there talk about um, redoing the website and are there, um, are there conditions to redoing the website? Like, could someone, I know money is tight, could someone donate their services for this to, to build the city a, a new website altogether um, outside of just this one we're talking about for listing council meetings and committee meetings and putting notes? Thank you, Mr. Fruit. So um, your first question was, is there a communications director? No, which is why we're um, speaking about the IT person. You said a lot there. I kind of um, <laughs> lost track a little. Um, your, your next question, I think that would be in reference to the mayor. The mayor would have to make that decision in terms of, you know, the city's website. Council doesn't have anything to do with that. And related to social media, I'm glad you brought that up because that was a point that I did forget. So we do have a Facebook page and I know that the school district streams and Councilman Vaughn talked about this before, they stream their meetings through YouTube, but that's a whole nother thing. You've got to buy that, but we can stream our meeting through our Facebook page. That will allow access to other people. How that, how that gets set up, I do not know that, but it's something that we should think about and consider. There's a lot that we know we have to do. And my point in talking about the servers being old is because we don't have the manpower to get some of these things done, as simple as they may be, even if they're not at a cost, which is why Councilman Burke was saying that he will create that page on the site and get it uploaded and get it going. And the mayor can speak to the other question that you have, Mr. Fruits. If I, if I may. Yeah, I, go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. I, just let me say that I, I only, I agree with what Shayla said. Uh, we do not have a communications director and quite honestly, it would be very tough to do that uh, unless somebody wanted to offer their services for free. And I'm not even sure if that would work. Uh, and as far as changing the website, uh, websites are very expensive. I, I know we did that early on in my career. We had some different companies come in and talk about putting in websites and you can get a Cadillac website or you can get a Volkswagen website and you pay accordingly. Um, do we need another one? We could have uh, the greatest website in the world if we could afford it. Uh, so at this point in time, if somebody wanted to say, we'll build you a brand new website, with all the bells and whistles, I'm more than happy to listen, but nobody has said that yet. That's why I said I'd be interested in talking to Weldon about what he's got. Got it, understood. And um, to speak to uh, one of the things you said, Councilwoman Davis, um, uh, I, I wonder if um, the solution that, Mr. that Councilman Burke is saying I wonder if Facebook would be a good place for that because you can put things there and you can have multiple admins and it's a platform that many people already use and you wouldn't have to learn how to do that so that multiple people could do that. You do not have to have a Facebook account 
to be able to view it. So if you're linking this to the city website, nobody has to know, like, click here to go to the Facebook page. They would just click here to see the meetings and it would take them to that page. They would not even have to log in to see that. So that could be a, a potential option. You know, I would just like to interject. I think we met with council and we discussed this issue. Remember, when you have a Facebook page and multiple administrators and multiple people using it, you run into the issue of that everything you're putting on there is a public record and has to be tracked and kept. So if somebody requests something and you're not keeping it, you're going to have problems. So it's not as simple as everybody uses their Facebook page personally. When you're talking a public entity, you have uh, records retention and public records laws that govern you, and they're, and they're very, you know, very involved. And so it's not as simple as just saying, oh, we'll just set up a Facebook page and let everybody go on it. You, you can't do it. You know, you know, I'm just saying you, you got to be very careful with that. Understood. Thank you, Mr. Riley. Thank you. Is there anyone on council that wants to um, respond, reply? Hey, Liz, can you hear me? This is Tom. Yeah. You know, we had the Facebook page, and if, if my memory serves me right, we had an issue with it, and it had to be taken down because of profanity and some other things that were going on. So I'm really cautious before we go back to that Facebook page type situation again. Am I right, Mr. Riley? I don't remember the exact reason we shut it. There was some reason. I can't remember right. exactly what it was. Right. Thank you. Is there anyone else on council? I'd also like to make the point that um, if you just use social media, not everybody, not every facet of the public uses social media. So you would be alienating a large portion of the of the uh, city that may not be on social media. And, and Jason, to your point, I think, you know, social media is important. Um, websites important and also still putting it in like the neighborhood news or whatever is still important because you know, we're finding out people get their news or their information from different, all different type, types of platforms. Um, so it's hard to keep up with it, with where everybody gets their um, information from. Anyone else from council? Mr. Dudley? No, I didn't have a comment about uh, Facebook. Uh, Chairwoman, Chairwoman, I just had another comment when you get to that, just a regular comment, but not in reference to Facebook. Um, well, you can go ahead and, and make your, your comment. I think it was okay. a variety of things, and that's just what everyone decided to speak to specifically. All right. Uh, my concern is that you know we I think we kind of exposed ourselves to vulnerability when we have like that one ITI. Councilman Dudley, your your connection is really bad, so you're really broken up. I don't believe I can. Mark, Mark, I got to hear you all. Let's see here. Everything seemed to be good. No, I can hear you clear. We can hear you can fine. Can you hear me? Now, Are you a speaker? Now we can hear you. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. No, y'all kind of fading in and out. But um, I just felt that though we kind of exposed ourselves to vulnerability when we see what's happening with our IT guys. And I mean, a conversation for a later date that even if you have one or the last two, if one becomes sick or that one's gone, we really don't have a backup. And then we don't have a backup for the backup, even if you brought somebody in part time. And that's a concern that I have because even with all this COVID-19, God forbid anybody catch it. But if they just expose to somebody to have it, then they still got to go through the quarantine phase. And if you brought an assistant in and that person was around that individual, then you'll end up losing both of them. And just a conversation down the road because we, we understand everything that's going on. But we got to kind of be able to come up with a plan to protect our back. And that's the only thing that concerns me when we utilize in a person in that position that we are exposed should they become ill. And people can't help it. And they get downtown. And we see what we're dealing with now. Just a conversation for another day, uh, Madam Chairwoman. 
And I, and I guess for me, like I said, after t talking to uh, both of the IT guys and even having multiple conversations with Bruce beforehand, we knew he was strapped. I, I don't think we can go too far. So at this point, I believe what's the small tangible thing that we may be able to do. And it sounds like the committee and everyone else is on board with figuring out a way to get at least the announcement and the legislation up on the website. And so I believe that's the focus we need to have right now because the other things, you know, they're just down the line. It all comes down to money. We do not have that. And, you know, IT work is totally outside of my scope, but I know it's challenging and difficult. So I really think we should just kind of focus on that piece and we can save that. Maybe we can, I can start doing quarterly meetings for communication and technology and each quarter we can, you know, dis discuss something else until we get there. Cause you know, we're not going to get to the finish line. It's going to be a journey. We'll be doing this forever. Technology is existing and it applies and shows up in everything that we do. Anyone on council? It's forever evolving, that's for sure. Technology forever evolving. But I will say this about almost every IT guy that I think I've ever met in my in my career, in my floor covering business, and also here in the city, none of them will ever tell you that they can't do something. They will always say, yeah, I could get to it. I could do it. it it's easy. I could do it. But in the reality, they don't want to tell you that they can't. And it's not that they can't physically do it. It's just their time constraint. They can't get to it in a quick amount of time. So anything we could do to try to help them out is, is helpful. I mean, it's just um, like Mr. Dudley said, you know, if one of them goes down. And, and most of the time when that happens, if, if, if you have two or three IT guys and they, they kind of are sworn to be able to share information so if you get a new guy that comes in and the old guy's leaving, um, they will usually share, uh, you know, passwords and logins and things like that so they can help build stuff. So um, I don't think that they, there's a kind of like a code between IT people that they don't will never leave a client hanging, you know, um, but it's just they'll never admit that they're too busy. You know, that's just the way they are. Councilman Blake, were you going to say something? I, I just, I, I agree with, you know, we need to just find ways to move forward and, and get the information out there. I, I think um, a quarterly meeting, as you stated, may be beneficial. Um, I'm glad to see that, you know, Mayor Kolova and Weldon are going to speak on, a, you know, potentially uh, working together. But uh, I just think we need to be creative in how we can, you know, get the information out to people. Is there any yeah, Mayor Kolova. Yes. You know, I have a question. Um, how long does anybody have any idea how long, because I'm completely ignorant of this, how long it would take to take a, uh, an ordinary ordinance or resolution and put up, put it on a site. I mean, how long would it physically take somebody to do this? That I can answer. It's like 30 seconds. You just add the PDF and it uploads. Like it's, it's very, it's probably faster than putting something in a fax machine or waiting for a piece of paper to come out of a printer. So if we're looking at, uh, and we'll use an extreme, but we're using, uh, let's go with 10 pieces of legislation, 10 pieces of legislation in, in all probability, you're saying 15 minutes. Or less. Yes, prob probably. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, well, it's already saved in that format, and then you're just clicking whatever you need to click on to get it uploaded on there. Once the page. Okay. Is now, let me ask you this: Is our website right now capable of putting this stuff up if somebody was to enter it in? So from my conversation with Will, he did say that there's simple ways, there's, you know, more difficult ways to do it. 
It can be done. It can be done easily. But we did not get I, I'm certain that it is, but we did not get into the weeds of that. I think that's further discussion that we could have offline. <laughs> talk to uh, Mr. Hastings and, you know, we can kind of figure it out from there. But that part, I don't know. But I'm not an IT guru. So, yeah, no, my, my thought process is this. I mean, I think everybody's consensus is we need this. And I think it would be good for the residents, no doubt. Um, would it be possible? And, and I would certainly have to get what Barb in the, in the finance billing, uh, finance department, would it be possible to bring a part-timer in, uh, one day a week, maybe a student from school or something, uh, pay them a minimum wage or, or some decent wage and have this done just one day a week, have this stuff put on, uh, for the council meeting or one day every two weeks. Uh, for each concert, would that work? Would, would that would that solve the problem that we have now? So, Mayor Kolova, I know months ago, uh, uh, myself, Councilman Blake, and Councilman Burke, we kind of were throwing around different ideas and talking about, you know, interns. We could very easily, I believe, the city could find an intern who's a communications major or marketing major from, you know, one of the local colleges. And they got to do an internship anyway. And they definitely could take that kind of stuff over so that the IT guys can do, I don't want to say the real work, but, you know, um, the more detailed things. Right. And, and one last question. Could they do this from their own home computer? Yes. Or would they have to come into the building? They can do it from their own home computer. Because I. All right. Well, why not? Why, why don't we see if we can do something like that uh, and, and it, at least it would take care of the legislation at the council meetings. If we could do that with a minimum amount of money, I think that's something that we could probably push forward. I don't want to promise it. I want to go back to finance. I'm not going to make any decisions unless I know we can, we can pay for it. But this sounds like a minimum amount of money uh, to at least temporarily solve a problem. Councilman Burke, did you want to say something? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I was just reading uh, a text here. Okay. And I see, uh, Mr. Hastings said that they can uh, support the IT infrastructure you know, completely remotely. So you're going to have that conversation. And I guess, you know, it's the decisions that we make after here. We all agree we need to do it. And so we're going to figure out a way to move forward with it and get it done. Oh, at, the, at the lowest cost, you know, for the city. And if there's anyone else that has something to say. There, there is one thing I, I just thought of. Um, I, and I don't know if you guys got the email. I got an email from a Laura Horton at WOW um, or Huawei. And they have, I think it's the Huawei. They have the, the uh, channels for us. Um, like our TV channel or whatever. So they said we there's a way that we'll be able to stream like even this meeting via their channels that they have set up for the city of Garfield Heights already. Um, I just need to know who do I put her in contact with? That's that's what I was uh, going to ask. Um, I'm I'm thinking I just sent her to Justin or or Bruce or somebody like that. But um, they'll be able to take, you know, or give us access to their channels. That we, can, we can actually stream our council meetings, it sounds like, live if we wanted to. On their Was that TV20 that we were doing when we were meeting in person? Yeah, I think, I think it's the same. Yeah, they're just oh. making their system available now for Zoom meetings and stuff like that. Okay. I'll forward, I'll forward the email to everybody so that you, you guys have it. Is there anyone else that has anything else to say regarding communication and technology and or us, you know, getting council's page uploaded so that everyone, the public gets to see the agenda as well as the legislation prior to the meeting? Mm. 
Okay, if no one has anything else. Um, this is Chairman. To, I'm sorry. This is Chairman. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn tonight's uh, second. Barb, can you take a roll call? I'm sorry, who made the motion? Matt Burke. Thank you. And Sh Shayla seconded? Tom Vaughn. Tom Vaughn. See, I just can't hear. Thank you. All right. Uh, Blake. Vote yes. No, Burke, I'm sorry. Mr. Burke. This is Matt Burke. Uh, Mr. Matt. Burke first. Yeah. Okay. Matt Burke, yes. Vaughn. Tom Vaughn, yes. Davis. Shayla Davis, yes. Blake. Jason Blake, yes. Thank okay, you. Everyone. Thank you. It was a good meeting, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Time. Thank you. Meetings adjourned. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> good night.